Well, good morning and welcome to Southern Nevada Now. Good morning. Mikey Rohan. And I'm the milk bone Mikey. We'll have to tell that story if we have time. All right. Uh, hi, Mikey. I'm Chris Palermo. Chris hi. J. Palermo. Hey, Chris J. Palermo. Uh, I do the uh, news here, or if you want to call it that, okay, PVM television. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do here, Michael? I am uh, the technical director, uh -huh. sports director, yeah. sports caster, uh -huh. weekend road trip director, wow. weekend road trip host. Mm -hmm. Weekend road trip producer. Milk bone eater? No. Oh. I wasn't done. Classic country uh, breakfast. Okay. Producer, host, director. Host, director? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, manager. So, how about your manager, of course. Mm -hmm. I'd call also call you a snacker. A snacker. Do you like to snack? Mm-hmm. Yeah. On milk bones? On milk bones, yeah. You gave I like me- to snack, too, on Philly cheesesteaks. I- you know, your segues are amazing, Mikey. We're going to have a... I want to tell you something. This this week's calendar segment, right, uh -huh. is bursting at the seams. Ooh. It's going to explode. Yeah, I tried picking it up before. That's it kind of... It is heavy, you know. Calendar segment. Uh, so Southern Nevada now, and by the way, uh, folks, if you are looking to advertise on a... Or high, even if you are. Right, highly targeted audience... Call us here at the radio station. Call us here at the television station. We'll give you a great package, advertising package. Yes. Um, yeah, so we air this show also on, well, we roll cameras so we can put this on the YouTube, right? YouTube, yeah. And anything. they'll have to see what we're wearing. Uh, we have a couple of choice t-shirts today, yeah, we don't do. we? <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll give them a little hint on mine. Uh, yeah. What is it? Uh, it's, a, it? it's, it's a man. It's Thriller? a man. No, no, no. It might have been his counterpart in the 80s. It's a man who I adored. Uh, he was an incredible 80s musician, and his birthday's coming up uh, early June. That's all I'm going to say about that. And you're wearing a shirt that, um, well, has to do with snacking. We'll just... Well, it has a lot to do with fitness. I'll say, so we'll leave it at that. The show airs on Ace Country. Mikey, how many radio stations is the Ace Country Radio Network? Let me count the back of your shirt. I don't have that shirt on today. Oh, four. I thought it was six. No, you... I thought wrong, huh? Mm -hmm. How about if I just, like, fabricate... Not think and, anymore? And, huh? We have I... 104 radio stations. There you go. That's it. Yeah. Mikey, um, I want to tell you that uh, we're going to get into some really piping hot news here in the Nye County. We also cover, you know, Southern Nevada. Nevada. And Henderson, what do you think? Henderson? I love Henderson. Hey, last week, you do? They yeah. They a new uh, baseball field today. Oh, wow. Well, you would know that. You're the sports guy. Mikey, I was down in town, uh, town, Vegas vicinity, of, you know, cover a story for us here and had some appointments. But, Mikey, I went to Pops Philly Steaks on uh, mm -hmm. Decatur. So it's 501 South Decatur in Las Vegas. Uh, down uh, one of the cross streets is West Charleston, right? So the place was incredible. Do you like a good cheesesteak? I love a good cheesesteak. I walked up to that window. Actually, I sauntered up there, right? I went up there and I said, give me the pizza steak. Now the guy, he goes, wow, nobody has ordered a pizza steak because I know what I'm talking about. Now I got the pepperoni pizza steak. A pizza steak is the the sauce, the mm -hmm. pizza sauce on the steak. What do you think? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Would you like something like that? Yeah, I'm going right now. Okay, so show's over. Uh, Mike is going to go. I'm kidding. Oh, wow. You, you were such a great actor. So I want to give a shout out to them. Pops Philly Steaks. You can find them. Oh, it's not much of a place. It's on a corner. Like, like it's, they got a few tables, right? And uh, there's a lot of, it's right at a busy intersection. You might have a side of fumes with your food. Mm. Uh, wasn't the biggest sandwich in the world. All right, that wasn't a deal breaker. How many inches? I, I can. You know what? I have trouble describing Was inches. It a Twelve inch. Uh, I don't want to let people know. Like if I say three inches and six inches, people say those are MySpace inches. You know, or mm. you know, I don't want people to. Did you, you say know, MySpace? MySpace. Yeah, that's really What's dated. That? Yeah, exactly. 
Um, so the steak was really shaved. I'm spending way too much mo- time on this here. Steak was but thin. You need a discount next time, right? I, I hope so. I hope these guys hope maybe they'll come and advertise on it. Yeah. We'll eat cheesesteaks on the air. How's that sound? Mm-hmm. How do you like your cheesesteak, your steak and cheese, or how would you like it? That pizza thing sounds good. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. I'll bring I'll you one. We'll go down, all right? All right. Uh, here's the big news here. Uh, Mikey, the Las Vegas Executive Airport, the spaceport, approval uh the nye county nye county clark county line uh that happened uh last week all right what do you think about that are you hearing the rumblings about this now it's uh it's time to go to space (laughs) a new airstrip is uh near the clark county it's actually four miles from when you see that sign heading into town you know where it says you're coming into Nye County? Yeah, Purple Heart County. That's it. Yeah. I love that, huh? God bless the veterans and those folks. Uh, four miles prior to that, kind of like the turnoff to, to Copa, right? Mm-hmm. Right in that area? You know, the solar farm and all that? So the, the this is very interesting the way uh, Rob Lauer, the man who got into it, I think he was having a little trouble getting the spaceport approved. So he's gone in now, and he is uh, got approved as an executive airport in airstrip. And one of his primary uh, uh, things, the selling point was the planes, the like you and I, the rich hoity-toity people, mm-hmm. the overflow from events like, uh, for example, like like Super Bowl, Rolling Taylor Stones. Swift, what is it? Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones. People with their private jets can come out to the airport and park them over here. Now, people say, oh, Chris, we, I don't relate to that, right? I don't have a, I said, that's fine and dandy. I think, Mike, overall, I keep calling you Mike today. I don't know, is it maybe more casual because, you know, we're good friends, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you can call me Christopher. Oh. Yeah, salute. Did you say Lucifer? <laughs> Some people do, mm-hmm. yep. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> where was I going with this? So what I think, uh, Mikey, is that with this airport, right? I think it'll develop some great commerce between Perum mm-hmm. and there because the airport's maybe 20 minutes from Perum and Vegas, you know, over a mountain and weather, good 45 minutes. It's not exactly an easy ride to get back and forth. But I think if people want like going for dinner or something or a hotel stay, whatever, don't, what, what do you think, Mike? It wouldn't be commercial airlines, right? Not yet, but he's going... Not uh, yet? Not yet. Okay. He's also building a 200-room casino. Uh, I just think, now it's going to take a while to build. What about all those workers? They're going to need some kind of support. So again, Mikey, I'm all about in this this community here, I, and listen, is a dichotomy, and, and I'm all about development. I don't want urban development. I don't want this thing to sprawl out of control. But you want to have the amenities of the city with while still maintaining this kind of Western, you know, culture out here. Don't wild, you agree? Wild old West. Yeah, right? I mean, that's the appeal. That's what we came yeah. out here, right? And less traffic. And- less traffic and all that stuff. Anyways, that was my report on it. Any notes on that? What do you think? Can't wait. <clears throat> Excuse me again here. Um, Are you looking at your phone? I... I think I was looking at my phone, uh, but don't tell people that because we um, oh, yeah, we're on, on the radio. radio. Stop, will you? This is exciting. Mm-hmm. Now, the Spring Mountain Karting Facility, like a go kart, a go kart track, is breaking ground. Um, They're gonna put batting cages in there. <laughs> maybe an ice cream. I hope, right? Yeah. Motors to fitness. <laughs> Motorsports facility outside Las Vegas adding state of the art karting. This is from e karting news. I didn't know such a publication existed. Didn't. Where have you been? I know, no kidding. Uh, so, the Spring Mountain Motor Resort Country Club has announced a groundbreaking facility, the new Spring Mountain Karting Facility, right here in Pahrump. Uh It's going to have a uh, one mile full course, uh, uh, cart shop, storage, private garages rental carts, members lounge. Uh, so more details coming. And uh, former, it's North Course is a replica of the former race cart 
City Raceway. So, anyways, uh, I don't think a lot of people have heard about this. Have you? Have, did you hear about this? No, I just uh, just found out about it. Are you looking at your phone now? Yeah. That's wow. That's great. Um, no Chick Fil A sauce. Anyways, uh, there was this other thing happening too. <laughs> I, also, I really hope people tune us in on YouTube this time, don't they? I was ordering lunch. <laughs> Mikey, this is kind of cool. Fountain Blue, right? Yeah. You know when that is down on the strip? Brand new mega casino. Mm -hmm. uh, you, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Before, yeah. I, I kind of picked this out because they're offering. Oh, I didn't mean to put my hands up on the camera there. We don't we want to keep your face uh, right there. Uh, Mikey, they're going to offer free parking for, well, for valet parking for some dinner events through November, and this will boost the north, they're saying to boost the north end of the Strip. I love that part of the Strip. You have Resorts World, my favorite restaurant, Piero's down there. Mick Jagger just went into Piero's. Did you read yeah, that? Yeah, I heard that. Uh, That's your favorite restaurant? In town. Hmm. It is, yeah. I went there for my, we've been going there for our anniversary. And uh, Resorts World. Circus Circus, I, I, I love Circus Circus. I don't know why I get so much hate, you know? I heard they were out of Mick's favorite. Out of what? Out of Mick, Mick's Mick. favorite food. He, he, yeah, is that right? He yeah, didn't, he didn't show him, up. They told him you can't always get what you want. And then you know what, he's, and then you know what he said to, to them? He said they can't get no satisfaction. That, then he said, you guys are a bunch of clowns. What? Yeah. So, hey. Uh, anyways, check it out. Fountain Blue, I think that's kind of cool to go. To, I might go to the uh, NHL Awards. That's yeah. right. And uh, I like to go see Daryl Hall. Finally. Uh, Hall and Oates? Just Daryl Hall. Wrap it up here. Evil Knievel Museum moving to Vegas. Tell us more. Can't wait. There's, yeah. It's going to be cool, huh? <laughs> Can you make that noise when you used to wind up the... I, I'm too young for that. You never had that to... Oh, no. my God. Okay. Chris Palermo, Michael Rohan, Mikey Rohan, Mike, yeah, Christopher J. Uh, and Southern Nevada now. Wow, we covered a lot. Salute. So, so, <laughs> we'll be back in a bit with the famous calendar segment. Uh, this is Southern Nevada now on the Ace Country Radio Network. Southern Nevada now. Welcome back, Southern Nevada now. I'm grooving to this music, our theme music. Yeah. You know, it's kind of nice. I actually left it in the whole time last time, and I, I, I think I liked it better. I think I heard that. I, yeah. I, uh, I'm going to accidentally do it again. Yeah, I, well, keep it, you know, nice and low. Do you mix with headphones? What? Exactly. You know, also, also, suddenly I'm in a New York accent here. Also, you should, folks out there doing audio production, you should always mix at a low volume. Yeah, you know, people tend to crank anyway, so. And also, you should always turn the microphone on. That's right. Oh yeah, that's a good beginning. Uh, this is a calendar segment. I'm Chris Palermo, it's uh, Michael Rohan. Uh, what the, cal Southern Nevada Now is the name of the show, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the name of the show. Mm -hmm. um, Mikey, so big weekend coming up. We talked about this Huge. like two months ago. Uh, Huge. Tonight, Friday, if you're listening to a mm -hmm. Friday, the show airs on Friday and Saturdays. Sammy's Island at Palm's Grand Opening, the pool party. The Sammy Hagar guy loves to party it up, right? He does. Down at the Palms. So this is kind of cool. They have a pool party happening tonight. Red Voodoo, a Sammy tribute band. Imagine that. There is such a thing as... Such a thing. Uh, uh, Why do no. I... Is David Lee Roth in it? No. I... Uh, did you know that two of the three Van Halen lead singers are from Massachusetts? Born in Mass. I bet you didn't know that. Gary Cherron. Gary is, uh, play with Gary, went to high school with Gary, no Gary, there we go. And then, uh, who? David Lee Roth from Swampscott, Massachusetts. Is. Another famous person from Swampscott is David Portnoy. You know David Portnoy? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, Here's a little tidbit here too. David Lee Roth's uncle operated on my mother's back, Dr. Roth. Wow, small world. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so. Uh, Everybody wants some. <laughs> Ain't talking about love. So I, I love to go, I think, you know, to me, Sammy Hagar seems like a guy, like a real cool dude, right? Does mm -hmm. he seem, get, give you that vibe, right? Yeah, seems like he's always drunk though, right? <laughs> like, like I just had three bottles of tequila. 
He's on to rum now. He did tequila. Now he's on to rum. So, um, anyways, that's down there at the Palms. Uh, he's picking up where Jimmy Buffett left I, off. I guess, I guess. so. Uh, uh, he's a good dude. Seems like a good dude. Tonight, the VFW fourth annual mm-hmm. sock hop. Friday night at. Are the, you going? I might go by, saunter by. It sound they're gonna have s'mores and uh, a bonfire. You know, I don't know how much 50s, like, music I could take on blast, like, all night. Like, are you a big fan of the 50s? And Oh, it's the best genre of music ever. Is that right? I mean, I am. I like it, but I don't know if I can groove to it all night long, you know? I'll bring a folding chair and a cigar, maybe. In, uh, I want to wear an itsy-bitsy... Poodle skirt? Polka dot Did- bikini. Why don't you get, instead of, like, Laverne and Shirley, they had the L for Laverne. Just get a big M, you know, Mikey. All right. So you know are you going to go down to that tonight? Down to the mm-hmm. VFW? I'm not sure. Yeah. That's on Homestead. Home. By the way, it's a great place down mm-hmm. there. You know, go go down and support those guys. Uh, Mikey. Mikey, we talked about this before. And, in fact, I don't know, we might even cover it. I might cover this Saturday night. Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. At the Wild Side Tavern. Guess what is coming back? Do I have to guess? Yeah, go ahead. Hmm. Elephant raising? Midget wrestling. Hmm. Back at the Wild Side Tavern, they're on East Game Bird. Doors are at 6 o'clock, 8 o'clock showtime. Now, I don't know if this is any coincidence, but the VFW with the saw cop, saw cop mm-hmm. is like in striking distance of the midgets. So... Can you imagine if you put the midgets together with the What's soccer? The, the, that would be. What could we, what could we do with that? <sighs> imagine po- the midgets with poodle skirts, huh? No, I'm not going to imagine anything. Okay. <laughs> That's tough. Huh? This is radio theater of the mind. And again, we discussed this. I said, do you think? No, it was in the marketing. They call them midgets. Mm-hmm. Do you, do you, should we call them little people or dwarfs or what do you think? We should ask them what they, what want, they to want to be yeah. called. You know, uh, I, um, when I spoke to the staff down there after the last one and I saw videos and it looked wild. It was great. It looked great. Do they have a ring set they up? They have or? a ring inside. I thought mm. it was outside, Mikey. They went inside and is they it were. A, is it like a full ring like they do in... Well, I don't know how much full ring you can fit into a bar room, but it was... midget wrestling? It was just all proportionately sized, I guess, for the for the midgets, you know? Yeah. Uh, I, I, well, I just hope they don't serve, like, midget drinks because that's not enough for me and you, you know? It's we, more we, like we, a shot. We, yeah, we want a we wanna, uh, full, full drink. I don't... I'm going to say... I don't want a midget drink. What's the <laughs> ink box? So you, your printer is gone nuts here. Pink box. Oh. Box. This is a big, big event we've been waiting for the whole town. I'm going to go down and, and take a look. And you going to come cover that with me too? Record some audio maybe? Oh, it's a Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm going to look at my phone again uh, because I, I didn't memorize this. That would be way too much effort for me to, me- I can't, listen, I know I'm. You're not I'm, even clocked in. I, I'm. I'm good, but I'm not that good, all right? Uh, Mikey, Saturday, uh, this is the Pahrump Nugget, the grand opening, 11 to 2 down there, Pink Box. I love their donuts. Uh, They have a donut eating contest, kids and adults. I can only eat so many donuts myself, right? The winner gets diabetes. My goodness. Uh, Find a pink ticket and win a free donuts for a year. Uh, Raffle prizes and live DJ. As opposed to a unlive or dead DJ, you know, mm-hmm. at the Pahrump Nugget. So this is happening Saturday, 11 to 2. Again, I'll just put it out there because, you know, the world is listening and everything hinged upon mm-hmm. our, you know, advice here. I got um, the Holy Cannoli Donut, which was delicious when I was, I stayed at the Plaza for the National Association of Broadcasting Convention. Are you bragging again? Yeah, and they had a um, pink box, 
By the way, their coffee is great too. Their coffee is really good. You okay? You look a little uneasy. Were you uh, oh, I was... just stretching? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know. This is a, a lot of effort. You know, I understand. These chairs are... I don't, yeah, I don't, maybe it was gas. You know, I don't know. But uh, that's okay. Um, we'll get through it. Uh, I like the holy cannoli. Tastes like a cannoli, right? I like the maple stick, maple, which had like bacon on it, you know? That's the one I want. Yeah, you'll like it. And it's not like cheesy bacon bits. Like It's like real bacon cut up. And there you go, you know? So what do you think, uh, Michael Rohan? What do you think? You're, you're going to go down? Uh, maybe not on Saturday. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah because, of, oh, what, you're going to wait the next day? Wait until yeah. the crowds kind of mm -hmm. subside, you know? Yeah. You know, there was this other thing that I was looking at. You know, we don't do ones much for the kids here. You know, there aren't a whole, like, heck of a lot of kids in town. Is that, like... That not an accurate statement. I mean, primarily a lot of retirees, right, Mikey? Would you say there's a a a, a big uh, population? I've never thought about it. Yeah. I've never. Well, anyways, I I saw this. They have enough to fill up schools and stuff. I right? guess, right? Uh, a stream event coming uh, Saturday. If you're listening to this Saturday, uh, this is at the Pahrump Community Library, 10 a.m. to 12:30. 12 so what will happen here is, um, and I'll give you some details if I can find it here. Um, I, Oh, yeah. So this is the kind of things they're going to have. Uh, well, by the way, they do this every other Saturday. Yeah. Uh, they have Lego engineering. That sounds wicked cool, right? Have you ever stepped on one? Oh, I have. Science Saturday, the Art Club. Uh, so all kind of stuff. Stream, workshop. Uh, art club, a uh, little technology here and there. That's at the Perum, uh, community community library. I'll be honest with you. I haven't been down there since, like, I first moved to town and got my library card. You know, I wanted to go down and, uh, but yikes, I, I should have been down there uh, a little bit more, you know? There's still time, right? Ah, there's always time to get down. Oh, you down know what there. else? Every Tuesday at Black Cow Coffee. Tell me about it. There's an open microphone that you can get up and sing where, some songs. Tell us where that place is. It's on East Calvada. It's on the corner of Prim Valley and Calvada. Uh-huh. And uh, went down there on Tuesday and uh, played some music. You want to see a clip? Let's see and hear a little bit right now. That was uh, amazing, wasn't it? I, uh, it shook me. It really did, yeah. It's, that, was, good. that was Rudy and Penny. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay. Yep. Oh, that was good. Uh, so they have some great programming, like almost seven nights a week down there. Yeah, they have like a movie night. A movie on night? Mondays, possibly. Don't they have like a Wednesday night, we were reporting on this, they do like open mic, spoken word. Yeah, co comedy. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. And they you do, should go down there. You're funny. I No, I'm not. I'm not Did funny the Bruins win last night? The Bruins? Uh, or well, the Bruins three are nights playing... Ago. Friday today, uh, the Bruins won and they weren't eliminated. They're forced the game six. Imagine Congratulations. That. I would like to see the Boston Bruins play the Rangers. Hey, by the way, this is kind of related to the Vegas Golden Knights. Dallas is given, uh, who are they playing over there now? Oh my goodness. Uh, Vancouver. Vancouver. Giving them a hard oh, I time. I thought they are playing the Oilers. No, Oilers are playing uh, Colorado. Oh, no. Whoever Dallas is playing is giving them Colorado. A, they're playing. They're giving Colorado the Avalanche a hard time. So uh, I just kind of have a feeling if Vegas Golden Knights got past Dallas, they might have gone a little bit further. You know? What but do you think? They didn't. So, anyways, this is going to wrap up another um, incredible show, Southern Nevada Now. We're on every Friday mornings. Southern Nevada Now. 10 a.m. And the Saturday mornings, 10 a.m. And, and hey, on YouTube. We, I hope to see you folks out and about with the midgets, maybe the sock hop, mm -hmm. pink box opening. Uh, look the for Lego me. Lego engineering. Lego engineer. I won't be at that one. Yeah. I don't. I won't be at that one. Uh, look for me with my new 25 shirt, and uh, maybe we'll see you around town this weekend, right, Mikey? Yeah. Okay. Good. Possibly. We're gonna we're gonna go out with a little more cut of Mikey's music down at the black. Cow, right?
Black Cow Coffee. Shop. Take it away, oh. Michael. Well, I hear what is that? What does that mean? <laughs> 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 <laughs>